Hi guys, it's Reactions here, and welcome to episode 9 of my Legion United career mode on FIFA 13. Today I'm going to be playing Barnsley in the first game of the episode. It is back to normal highlights for a few um, for a few episodes. Normal highlights being any chances whatsoever, not just the girls like I've been doing in the previous episode. So here, first chance comes to Ephraim, and he hits the post. And then Barnsley managed to clear it. Now a heads up, this game was absolutely boring. As you could see, the first chance came in about the 39th minute. And then again in the 45th minute, um, I think it was Beckia hits the post again. Oh no, it was McCormack, sorry. McCormack hits the post for the second time in a row. So at half time, only two chances in the game and both of them chances was hitting the post as you can see I make some changes Ibrahim for Nunes and um, and mm, <laughs> Norris for Norris I think it was Norris for Green, I do apologise. I couldn't keep up with, with myself then. And then Varney for McCormack as well, so three changes all together. And now the first chance of the second half comes in the 70th minute. Not a few, not many chances at all, and that was really a poor chance anyway. So yeah, this game was really, really boring. It was stuck in the middle of the field most of the time. But towards the end of the game, we were getting a lot more chances. But there, as you can see, Barnsley go through on goal and score to make it 1-0. And now in the 79th minute, Pew with Austin. Austin passes to Juf. Juf on the ball. Passes to Varney. I just cannot get through on goal. Um, Nunes on the ball. Nunes passes to Austin again. Passes to Varney. Varney shoots. And a beautiful keeper, I mean a beautiful save by the keeper, and it goes for a corner. And as you can see in the resulting corner, it didn't really come to much. Anyway, uh, right, I was just changing the kicker. I don't know why I chose Lees. I found out that he was rubbish. I think I will try and choose a different player. But as you can see from the corner, it gets cleared out. But it comes straight back. Austin on the ball with Becchio, with Peltier. I just like passing around the box because I cannot get a clear chance. So I just pass around, try and get an opening. And as you can see, Juve finds the opening and gets a goal for himself in the 88th minute. Now it is one all. Um, the comeback is on. Can we secure three points or just keep the one point? Stay tuned to find out. So Pew to Austin. This game is getting a lot more intense towards the end. And as you can see, the last chance of the match goes my way. Oh no, <laughs> it goes as a throw in. I thought it was the end of the match, but a throw in. Varney. Varney shoots and it gets blocked. Goes to the keeper, and I'm pretty sure this is the end of the match. So, them substitutions really made the game kick open. It made it more alive, more action packed, and a lot more fun to play. So I um, I got a message saying a training injury and now I've just got a little scout update, scout report, um, just to tell me how the players are doing, what potentials, if they've changed um, and all of the strengths and stats and whatnot. Um, I was going to release that player but I decided to leave him on just to see if he improves a little bit, if he doesn't then I will release him in a later episode. So, um, as you can see, I'm just showing you all of the players in my youth squad. And now, the second game and final game of the episode. Hull City versus Leeds United. And now, this game is a lot more um, action-packed. It is a lot more entertaining for you guys. Hopefully, you do enjoy this match. So, the first chance falls my way. But that was a really, really poor Pass by Beckio, and now there I run the counter attack with Luca. Beautiful save by Podikini, and then he catches the ball, or should I say, picks up the ball. But now I am on the back foot with Hull City attacking me, trying to get that goal, but they just missed the target. And as you can see from a cut, free kick, Podikini catches the ball, and now it does a beautiful kick up to Beckio. Beckio passes to 
McCormack, McCormack shoots, and there is a goal, that is a beautiful attack from the free kick, Paddy Kenner catches the ball, kicks it up to Becchio, passes to McCormack, and that is a beautiful counter attack, that is what a counter attack is all about, and now it is 1-0 to Leeds United in the first half, and now Norris, Norris on the ball, he was getting pulled back, I've decided to square it to McCormack, tries to do a nice little volley but it was coming too fast and it was a bit off balance and it decided to miss the target. But now Hull City with a beautiful chance, Paddy Kenner, he um, parries it into the danger area but my um, defence managed to um, get it away. But now McCormack on the attack, that was a beautiful chip, he chips it and I think that was another counter attacks so two goals with two counter attacks it is pretty nice indeed I am getting a lot better at counter attacking opening up their defense with the through balls and look at that 40 finish I decided to leave two replays in there just so you could see and that was a beautiful finish by McCormack he is definitely um, getting up there in the best player of the squad and now close to the end of the first half Paddy Kenny kicks it and now it is the whistle, it is half time, it is Hull City 0, Leeds United 2, both of the girls with McCormack is a beautiful player, he is getting much much better as the career mode progresses but the first chance of the half falls to Hull City but I decide to challenge them and I win the ball and now McCormack to Danny Pugh, Danny Pugh on the ball turns um, passes to McCormack, McCormack doing some um, nice little dribbling, Becchio, he passes it out wide to Juve, now Juve with a beautiful um, control s dribbling, and then he crosses it in, to Pew, Pew, gets the ball blocked, and now Ephraim just comes up with the rebound, and that was beautiful, a nice volley attempt, but it gets blocked by the defender and rolls right into Ephraim's feet and that was beautiful. I Here I tried changing player to Juve but it just gets to Becchio and the chance went away but it was a good chance nonetheless and now this game is action packed a beautiful beautiful chance by Aluku I believe he is called but a beautiful save by Paddy Kenny and now the resulting corner does not really come to anything um, Juve Headers it out and then it causes another player but Juf gets it and clears it out. Now you can see some changes. I bring on Summer for Becchio and I bring on my youth squad player, uh, youth squad keeper for Paddy Kenny. Just so he can have some playing time. I am going, I'm winning 3 0, so I decided to bring my little youth goalkeeper on so I could get him a bit of playing time and hopefully progress on his overall. But now that was a nice save by the youth squad keeper. And the resulting corner did not really come to anything again. I am getting a lot better at um I am getting a lot better at defending set pieces. And as you can see, David Summer misses the target, but it was a beautiful chance nonetheless. And now in the 90th minute, Hull City crosses it. Beautiful, beautiful header by Lees and then a no nice little tackle by Norris and now I am on the counter attack I have all I've already scored two goals with the counter attack can he score another goal with a counter attack um, Nunes to Summer Summer turns I really should have passed it to the player in front of him and the chance goes begging but nonetheless I win 3-0 that is a beautiful beautiful I I'm really, really happy with that victory. Um, I am getting on top form now. I think I have won my last three or four games, which is outstanding. Now, I think I drew the last one against Barnsley. I'm not too sure. I've already forgot. But nonetheless, I am still on a beautiful top form. Can I get into the playoff positions? Because I am on the bottom of the table so far. So hopefully I can push up into them playoff positions later on in the episode. Hopefully, I can. We will just have to sit, wait and see in the next episode 
whether I can keep the good run of form going. And as you can see, I will leave the episode here where you can see the scout report and what's not. So thank you very much for watching. End of the episode right here. Be sure to leave a like if you really enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode of Legion United FIFA 13 Career Mode. Thanks for watching.